Welcome to the Tail Greeter Cure Bowl as part of Capital One Bowl Mania. Sunny Orlando, Florida, site of the seventh annual Cure Bowl here at Exploria Stadium, home of not one but two soccer teams, and today, home of a great matchup between the MAC champion Northern Illinois Huskies and the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers. Trying to take Northern Illinois to a bowl victory. First down and 10, first down run in between the tackles and a nice chunk of yardage, nine yards for Jay Duckert on third down. This will be second down and short. Back each way for Lombardi. Again, straight up the gut and breaking tackles, rumbling to the 41 yard line, fourth down of the yard. Out of the eye, Lombardi surging forward. He gets a great push from the interior of that offensive line. That'll be a first down for the Huskies. And still on his feet to the 20. He just came out of a pile and somehow did not go down. What a great effort by Rocky Lombardi for 29 yards. Oh, man, he got a ton of help from number 82 is tied in. Tristan Tavis, who comes in, and he's just a push, push, push. It's like an old rugby scrum, right? But no one, no one can find the ball carrier. No one can find Rocky Lombardi. He comes out on the outside and showing off the vision early on. Quick snap, probing the right side, and all the way down inside the two-yard line is Ducker. It's get right back on and run the ball. Quick throw into the flat far side and immediately tackled the freshman Billy Dozier. Lombardi takes his time, gets the snap, rolling out right, looking in zone, wide open and caught for the touchdown. It's Cole Tucker, the junior. Brings it in. He's already broken many of the records of Jerome Simpson. He had a nice career in the NFL. And that pass in the flat caught by the other part of Highly Like. Coming out of Massachusetts, he chose Coastal. Little flip play to Bennett. Bennett breaking tackles and carrying some defenders with him inside the 45. A bowl game record, 13 grabs for 178 yards. Again, a little flip play. It's Bennett. And Bennett on the sweep, tripped up at the 30-yard line after his in college football to average over 40 points a game. They go to the ground here, and this time a log jam. Jammed up. Reese White could not find any daylight. Little option play will keep it himself between the tackles. Breaking tackles inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. From the 13, McCall. Little pitch play, wide open path down to the end zone and gliding in is Braden Bennett. The red shirt freshman out of Greenville, South Carolina, totes it for 13 for Bennett to the end zone. Extra point is blocked. Extra point by Biscardi is blocked by the Huskies. 11 play touchdown drive the first go round second down here and that's going to be right near the sticks and spinning his way out of a tackle at the 45 yard line that's Fabian McCray the freshman from Chicago all year long on second down and six Lombardi hands off behind the right side of that line and breaking free past the 30 almost lost the football out to the 25 with it behind Lombardi out of the shotgun. Lombardi looking far side, and that one will sail over the goals. This will be from 41 yards out. Staff and hold are good. Kick veering left, and does sneak just inside the upright. McCall. Hand off, right side Jones. And stacked up past the 35. Another first down for the shuffle because highly unlikely is so dominant this year. McCall, little pitch play near side. It's Bennett. Bennett gets to the edge. Bennett into plus territory. Spun down at the 45-yard line of the Huskies. That's fourth and five here. Quick pass wide open at the 20. 10-5 and a touchdown. Whoa, Aaron Bedgood was quarantined. Nobody in the zip code. Leading Sparty to a win over the Michigan Wolverines. He was the national quarterback of the week when that happened. Big hole left side and tripped up right at midfield. Another carry for Brown as their offense gets so much national praise. To the ground game. Getting to the edge and then some streaking down the sideline. Shifting at the 30. And inside the 20 to the 15-yard line is Brown. I have now. Lombardi operates out of the shotgun. And the snap and the handoff is fumbled by Ducker, who immediately pounces on it. It will be a loss on the play. 
Farmers, and both of them could be some of your best players. This is Lombardi showing that toughness. It's on the ground. They've had over 200 yards in nine games this year. Bunch formation on second down and goal. Rakovich gets it. Rakovich leaps. Second effort. Dives for the end zone. Touchdown, Huskies. McCall out of the shotgun. Drifting left and hits his man on the flat of the 45 in a plus territory, tiptoeing out of bounds. Five drives in this game. Every drive has been a scoring drive. Not a single punt yet. McCall dancing out of trouble and hits his target at the 25. Inside the 20 and wrestled out of bounds near the 10. It's highly again. Big third and goal here for the shots. McCall looking near side, one on one. That was just kind of a fade stop of sorts. Swings the right leg and hammers it home. Three-man rush on third down. Draw play and nothing doing. Strung out for a loss. They tried to sneak Ratkovich off the left side of that offensive line. We finally have one. Here's Matt Ferentz. And Ferentz gets roughed on the punt. Caught at the 30, but two flags on the field. He got walloped right after he got the boot. I think this is roughing the kicker. This isn't running into the kicker. Personal foul. This is roughing the kicker. Yeah. <laughs> roughing I would the say kicker. so. <laughs> Number three, defense. 15-yard penalty. Automatic. First down. Well, that's on Aaron Bedgood, who had dakes for Coastal Carolina. Huskies trying to take advantage. Little end around to Rudolph. Rudolph gets to the edge. 45, 30, 25, right near the marker, out of bounds. As we speak, Lombardi on second and six. Ducker. Hesitates, probes the right side. Look at that. Just ramming ahead, taking on defenders and pushing his way to a five yard gain and a first down. The time they can't wait for this opportunity. They've been waiting a long time. Lombardi hits his target at the six, the five into the end zone. Touchdown! The tight end, Miles Joyner. Timeout left, a minute six remaining, first half. McCall. Dancing, buying time, now going to tuck it and run. Runs into one of his linemen and then somehow takes it all the way out to the 46-yard line. Quick snap. Rifles one complete. Out of bounds, perfectly designed play. That'll stop the clock. McGall, McCall from the gun with Jones to his right. Gets the snap. Steps up in the pocket. Heavy pressure and goes down for a sack. 30 seconds to go. Third down. McCall taps, fires, and did he come away with it? Yes! What a catch that time by Hiley. Six two, on the field 200 pounds. Catch. What a little toe drag swag. It's up top in the slot, and you can see that Northern Illinois is bracketing the coverage. Can he get out of bounds? Clock is not running. Yeah, the clock is stopped. Well, the clock is stopped at 10 seconds. Meanwhile, the snap and hold are good. The kick is just inside the upright and good. Chadwell won at virtually every stop he has been. Big hole firing through right side and going down the sideline as Jones tripped up in plus territory. Fakes the handoff. He'll take it himself. A lot of daylight. Cuts outside of the 30 and is lassoed down at the 28-yard line. All showing off his footwork in this game. Fakes the handoff here. Now going to scamper and throws it out of the flat. And an easy path to the end zone for the All-American tight end, Isaiah Likely. Your, alum, your alum's jersey is now somewhere else. On first down, they'll continue to put it on the ground. They'll continue to feed Jake Ducker. Daylight down the sideline. Foot race. One man to beat. Dives and just short. They will mark him down inside the one field. And you allow Ducker to go take off and run, showing off the ability. Out of the gun, it's Lombardi. Lombardi, hands off. Battle, no sir. Emmanuel Johnson, number 91. And now they will say touchdown. Okay, fair enough. Thought it was the fullback with the ball, but watch the quarterback the entire time. Everybody is going with the fullback, Radovich. But it's Lombardi who, like, literally goes into the end zone untouched. Coach Chad Scott also coached him in their days at Charleston Southern. You mentioned that. He said he was battling injuries. Mike, I'm gonna let you take this. Yeah, let's take it down the sideline for a score, shall we? Braden Bennett from 60 yards out, Coastal Carolina.
responds in emphatic fashion. They've done a great job over the last couple of years. How does Northern Illinois respond after taking a gut punch? It's who's calling the plays on offense, and it's just a tremendous story about how he got the job. Bouncing outside, breaking tackles, and tripped up out of bounds at the 37-yard line. More and out for their fine work on the defensive end. Here's a third down and eight. Lombardi keeps it. Lombardi breaking tackles. Lombardi rumbling to the marker and then some. What an effort by Lombardi. Ten yards and a first down. Second down and ten. Lombardi, here comes the blitz. Settles in the pocket, completes it at the 20. Little crossing route inside the 10. Cole Tucker. Brown, the back, little pitch, tries to get to the edge, now cuts back, shifting his way at the five, beautiful scamper to the end zone, what a run by Ontario Brown. To win games like this, and this promises to be a fantastic finish. What a fantastic play in the backfield for a loss. That from high school. And now they'll pin their ears back on third and 14. Flushed out McCall. McCall buying time. McCall sees nobody open and will be bottled up at the 24-yard line. Terrific defense. Wow. Hearing up here in the booth, Kirk. <laughs> yeah, my mom knows when I perspire, my nose slips. <laughs> <laughs> Pass caught over the middle and some yards after catch for Cole Tucker, who's heating up. Lombardi under center, eye formation behind him. He'll try to go behind the push of that offensive line, and that offensive line continues to get a good push tonight. Back in the game, who's the Mac freshman of the year? That's Ducker, and here he comes, and there he goes the wrong way. Swarming defense that time by the shot to clears a loss of a couple on the play. Oh, Rakovich to loan back. Oh, hand it off to Rakovich, probing the left side, and is wrestled down after a modest gain. Good tackle by C.J. Brewer. Swings the right leg. Oh, it looks perfect. It is perfect. Key third down and seven. McCall, perfectly thrown ball right in the basket to likely right on cue. <laughs> hand off. Absolutely nowhere. A, lo a loss of two makes it second and 12. McCall, pump fake, looking deep. Now will be flushed out right and complete to that midfield. Good cut and from the 40 yard line of Northern Illinois. On first down, little razzle dazzle. McCall has a man wide open, caught at the 20. Leapfrogging into the end zone, a touchdown for Isaiah Likely. What a play call, and what a finish by the All-American tight end. 40 yards and a score. Jones alone back. McCall looking, corner, end zone. Great coverage on the play. Thoughts of Thomas Hammock. Again, they've converted 14 consecutive fourth downs. 14 straight. Are they bluffing, or will they actually snap it? Lombardi. Ah, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, oh, wait a minute, they are! They do snap it! There's a scrum. I don't think he got it. I don't think he got it. He needed the 35. They're going to mark it. It looks like inches short. Ball, and nobody paid attention to Lombardi. They saw him, but they kept the eye on. Great job there by 52. The sixth-year senior, C.J. Brewer. He realized that when Lombardi walked off, hey, there's still somebody behind center. Still can make him pay, setting up shop at the 34. Little option play, late toss, and firing down the sideline is Bennett for the score. Coastal Carolina back on top. Again, up by four, McCall changes direction, throws back to the near side, and this time he finds Likely for the two-point conversion. Lombardi. Three-man rush, steps up in the pocket. Now will throw last second complete at the 40 and down to the 47-yard line. That's Cole Tucker. They've won their last 27 when they're leading at the three quarters. Of course, they were trailing in this case at the three. Looked like a running back, halfback pass rather, or in this case, it's in the backfield. Big third and 14, four-man rush by Coastal. Lombardi gonna tuck it and run. Lombardi plus territory, coughs it up. Picked up by the shot to clears at the 40. And down at midfield. Just ball security. 
and I think it was 29, Silas Kelly, the, the six-year linebacker, covered by the defense. just First seemed down. like he got the hat on the football. Change and build this program, and he is a big part of it. Big play here on third and 13. McCall will run. McCall weaving out to about the 46-yard line. Nice. That's Rocky Lombardi. He came to Northern Illinois for moments like this. Cox and fires complete right at the sticks. And point, they need a chunk play. Two minutes remaining. Lombardi stepping up in the pocket. Now will lower the shoulder and stagger forward right near the marker. That should happen. Lombardi gets the snap. Here comes the blitz. Rakovic hit as he throws. Complete to the midfield. And down inside the 40. Out to the 37-yard line is Cole Tucker right on the north. They'll rush four here. Lombardi from the pocket. Goes underneath, complete to the 30. Breaking tackles at the 20. Dragging defenders to the 16-yard line is Jay Ducker. Corner in the slot, or 15, Cole Tucker up top. Lombardi throws out, caught, but to Joyner, I believe, will they mark him out of bounds? If they mark him out of bounds, it stops the clock. Inbounds, inbounds. They will start on the referee's whistle. One second. Now, wait a minute. Coastal Carolina is celebrating. Game. That's it. That's it. Coastal Carolina has made history. First win in program history. What a finish here in Orlando. I want you to break this one down, Kirk. Well, did he catch it? That's the number one thing. It's if he he didn't catch the football, so or did he catch it? They're saying that he didn't catch it, but the clock's still running. There's a lot that go <laughs> sort of digest in that last situation. He felt that he caught it and it got out of bounds, which would have been a first down. But <laughs> did they call that a catch? <laughs> Or is it incomplete? If it's incomplete, the game was over regardless. But he catched it and then got out of bounds. I don't <laughs> still try to process what just happened. You know